What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're at it again with another video. Today's video is how to enable the dock magnifier on a Chromebook. Now this is going to be a useful feature for anyone who has a visual impairment or just wants to reduce eye strain. Now I like making these videos because I notice that a lot of people who are watching the channel really enjoy them. How to videos seem to be the thing and I seem to be somewhat good at them. I just want to say this is just one solution to a problem, visual impairment or reducing eye strain since we spend a lot of time looking at screens. So with that being said, if you are watching this video and you know a better way to do this or maybe a more simple way, make sure you let people know in the comments. Obviously, I don't know everything, but I just like sharing these little things that I do find out with all the viewers to make your life a little bit easier. So with that being said, let's go ahead and show what this actually looks like when you enable it. I have the pixel book here and we're gonna go ahead and open this up and we'll do a quick demonstration here. Okay, so here we are on YouTube and you can see that I have enabled the dock magnifier and it gives us kind of the split screen orientation here. On the top will be the magnified version of the lower half of the screen here, which will be normal size. So as we scroll down, we can actually see the titles here. They're gonna be a little bit bigger on the top of the screen, again, making it easier to see. And we can just scroll through things and just get a bigger version of what we're looking at on the top there. So this is nice. You can use it anywhere on the screen. It's gonna make everything larger. You can even close out of this. You can go to your main desktop kind of page here and you can see all the icons. They're gonna be a lot larger, which is gonna be a very nice feature. And uh, it's just gonna make it easier to use a laptop, especially if you have something with a smaller screen. So now that we actually showed how this works, we wanna show you how to actually enable this feature so you can go ahead and use it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are on the pixel book and as you can see, I disabled the dock magnifier. We're back to a full screen, but I wanna show how to enable it. Now, this isn't anything that's too complicated to do. It's just requiring a few steps and finding the settings aren't really all that easy or straightforward. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our clock in the lower right hand corner and we're gonna click on that. And then you're gonna see there is a gear icon on the top here of this new dock that opens. And we're gonna click on that, that's our settings. Now, as you see on the left side here, we're gonna have advanced. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And then we're gonna scroll down until we get to accessibility and click on that as well. So we wanna go ahead and enable the dock magnifier. We're gonna look for the accessibility section and then click manage accessibility features. Now, as you can see, this opens up a whole new page and we've got quite a few options here if you're looking through all this. There is a lot we can do for accessibility. But again, we're looking for that enable dock magnifier. Now, there's gonna be a slider over here. It's gonna be in gray, but if we go ahead and click on it, it's gonna change it to blue and then dock magnifier will just pop up on the top portion of the screen there. Now, as you can see, we're gonna start here on a dock zoom level of eight times, and you've got quite a bit of zoom level adjustment here. You can go from two times, which doesn't really seem all that much bigger, to up to 20 times. So it just depends on what you need. And the nice thing about this is if you put it on 20 times, Unlike some other features, if you zoom in too much, it becomes really hard to figure out how to go back to a lower zoom. You can always reference the lower bottom of the page to kind of find your way back if you zoomed in too much for the top portion of the page. So that is pretty much it for this video. Very simple, very straightforward, but I felt it would be very helpful since in this day and age, we're spending a lot of time looking at screens and you may have a visual impairment or maybe you're just looking to reduce eye strain. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now you can support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. And until next time, Leon, check in out.